it's like I'm a different human being. Um, so I cried for a little bit and then I realized my landlord is an actual angel um, and I have fewer worries but we're in isolation, Rona season, ha ha ha. Um, but I've decided today that we're not going to have a sad day where we just cried and did nothing else. Um, so I have taken the executive decision of telling a funny story to a friend and then sharing that conversation to the internet because I high key, high key think that the conversations that I have with some of my closest friends are the funniest things that come out of my mouth. Um, and I mean, that's what I want to share with you. Like, why would I not want to share that with the world right now, with the climate that everything is in? Um, so the person that I am going to call is our lovely Saf.com. For those of you who don't know who she is, she's been on this channel before live next to me, um, around our shining event. And we read our birth charts together. We did a room tour. We did a live stream together where we got ready together. Like she's amazing and she's wonderful. And this is a story that I have already told one of my other friends, but I have not told her. And I am so ready to see her reaction because it's kind of dumb. And those are the best kinds of stories. So here we go. I'm going to call her and she's going to be on loudspeaker. Hey! <laughs> Welcome to the video! <laughs> Yay! This is fun! I'm excited! I've been waiting for this for so long. Yeah, I really wanted to uh, like get some food and do a mukbang, but I mean, Rona season, um, can't really do that. Um, especially since all the McDonald's have closed down since Monday. Uh, but anyways, um, before we actually get into the story, I just want to ask you, because I've had many, many requests to always ask people, how are you doing in isolation? I'm not gonna lie, I was doing very well. I was finding it quite hard to be motivated to do work for uni. Mm. Because, I don't know, it's just, I can't bother. Like, I'm sat at home and I'm sat inside. Well, it's funny outside, I think I could be doing all of this. Plus, my uni's been really awful in giving us actual directions to what is happening. Mm -hmm. Now we've just been told our libraries are closed and we're getting extensions. Yeah, I've heard nothing from my course leader and it's been like three days. Yeah, I feel the same but, way about my uni work completely, so I get it. But um, today I had like work training and they've now officially like sent us that as up to almost how to work from home, which is good. It's given me some sort of schedule to life so I can like get my shit sorted a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I read rejigs my room, so I moved my bed a bit and moved my desk towards my window, so it's not like I'm looking at a wall when I have to do work. So I've got the outside, got candles, got my plants, it's very zen. I feel like tomorrow's gonna be better. Yeah, that's good. Um, I had kind of an awful day today because I was just arguing back and forth with my employer. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bit better. What actually happened then? Um, nothing essentially. Then they're, they're not gonna pay me. They've just decided they're not gonna pay me. I've contacted. So I have an agency and I have an umbrella company, which are two separate yeah. entities. So I'm employed by the agency, but I'm paid through the umbrella company. So. Uh what would happen is that um i would have to get into contact with my umbrella company and i've sent them an email because all of their offices like they don't have any telephones working at the moment so i've i've sent them an email and i've said hey uh my agency that i can't mention yet but i really really want to flame as soon as i leave um <laughs> not a joke like y'all anticipate that video because it's going to be a doozy but um can, can you just do another like phone call with me so i can just hear it and give my reactions oh yeah, yeah yeah like i can't do it live but we can definitely do that in private um yeah. but yeah i emailed them and i said like my agency are being hella incompetent like can you give me sick pay for the 28 weeks that i need um that i'm not going to be at work and i'll see what they say i haven't got high hopes but i did um apply to universal credit uh okay. i could not get a hold of the job center though i was on their line for like an hour just sitting there listening to that fucking hold tone you know what i'm saying like i, I was there for so long um but they didn't pick up so I'll i'm gonna have to call them again tomorrow 
Um, and yeah, that's I, so like, I left like my landlord a voice note, and he immediately called me. I was like, no, 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 I'm gonna cry. I can't Aww. pick up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I like picked up because it's my landlord like I can't not pick up the phone so I picked up and I like spoke to him and he was like oh like you don't have to worry about it like we all need to get through this together like he is an angel oh he, where did I look like him? I don't know I don't know he's literally the nicest landlord ever like I told you he bought me a bookshelf for my birthday he was like just yeah. have it you know he is the nicest landlord in the world and he was like yeah just apply for universal credit if they don't give you anything like just don't worry about it um don't worry about rent just this is all a bad situation for everybody so we're gonna see what we can do and i'm like that's taken so much off of my mind because that was what was weighing the heaviest like i'm not gonna be able to pay my rent like i'm gonna lose where i live like it's i'm just like spiraling for like the last few days because i haven't got clear answers but oh my god um, so that's been my whole day. <laughs> At least you have a really nice landlord and hopefully you get free to universal credit and you, sh you should get the money anyway. I yeah, should, I but like, the job centre is just the trash kind of because I've, I've been on um, job, job seekers allowance before like in 2016 and yeah. <laughs> I was getting like 80 pounds a week it was not the great I think they've increased it a little bit now from what it from like 94 to I think it's like 20 quid more a week or something like that I think so yeah but I need like housing income in order to pay my rent so we'll see what they say anyway my rent's not that like it's not super super high um so we'll see what happens but anyways i feel landlord would probably be like just pay me what you can yeah that's basically what he said like just pay what you can afford um he's not fussy he's like that you've got f four other roommates five actually but one of them i don't know where he's gone um it, you know you've got four or five other roommates they'll still as far as i'm aware they're still working they'll still pay me like don't worry about it um okay. And he also, I think one of my other roommates does events as well, so all of her jobs are cancelled. So, oh, shit, yeah. yeah, so yeah, he's, he's just very aware and he's just very lovely, and I super, super appreciate that. So, and I'm, he was like, Oh, I can't come over and I can't restock your toilet paper. I'm like, Dude, oh, can you? <laughs> <laughs> can you not like i'm already like crying here i don't need this right now <laughs> I, was like, I would just make you that would make you cry even more i was like crying he was like well i hope you take care of yourself because he's like <laughs> whenever he comes over he like and i'm like cooking he's like that's not a healthy meal no <laughs> he's he is the nicest landlord in the world i uh, I'm very lucky to have him as a landlord um, but anyways there is a story that I want to tell you and also share with the internet because I feel like there isn't enough awareness about something we Muslims call istinja <laughs> oh. <laughs> so basically istinja is the practice of washing yourself in the toilet with water or technically stones but most of us use water um, Imagine using oh, imagine using I don't want to think about it, but like most of us use water. Like, forget the stones yeah. part. Um, we also but, go on holiday. We used to like my give us like a water bottle to fill up. Yeah, that's that's what I used to do. I used to carry like a water bottle to work. I can't be bothered anymore, but like that's what I used to do. Um, and me and some of my coworkers, we went out for food. I want to see like three weeks ago. And we were like talking about how all the toilet paper's gone. And I like, m one of my Muslim friends was sitting next to me and she, she was, uh, I like gave her a side eye and I was like, yeah, we don't need to worry about toilet paper because we wash ourselves in the toilet. And um, like my coworker opposite me, you know who he is, but I, I don't want to like name and shame him. We'll call him Lee. Okay, because I feel like that's a nondescript enough name, but also hysterical because you know who he is. Um, he <laughs> he's he's sitting opposite me and he was like so how does that work and like i have never because like my muslim friend she's quite sheltered um it's always been me and lee explaining things to her it's never been like me and my muslim friend explaining something to lee so it was like a very awkward position and he was like so how does it work and i was like yeah you just fill the jug up with water yeah. and you wash yourself and it's like a poor man's bidet and he was like <laughs> Oh, he did not associate it to a watering can. He associated it to like Aladdin's lamp. He was like, oh, the lamp thing. And I was like, yeah, I guess. And he was like, 
oh, so you wash yourselves with water? And I was like, yeah, what did you think we washed ourselves with? And he was like, oil. And I was like, what? Oil? <laughs> I was like, wait, oil? He was like, yeah. And I was like, what? He, I've never heard that before. I was like, we're, by the way, like, to set the scene, we're in a GBK, like, we're in a burger joint. And we're sitting here, like, I'm like screaming, laughing, because I can't believe he just said that. And he was like, what? Like, is that so ridiculous to believe? And I was like, yes, because how would you wash yourself with oil? And he goes, well, I assumed that the can, like, you poured a little oil into your hand. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> So you thought that instead of just, like, pouring the water, like, onto our ass and cleaning ourselves, you thought we actually poured oil into our hand or, like, dipped our hand into the lamp, right, and then washed ourselves? And he was like, yeah, because I, I thought it, like, in because there's no better way to phrase this, I thought it, like, loosened the poo. And I was like... I was like dying laughing because I could not believe this was coming out of his mouth. I like I I fully I could not believe and <laughs> I was I had so many questions. I was like, okay, first of all, that would create a fucking mess. Like it's oil in your inner bathroom. Like that is a slipping hazard. And it would be like so messy like if you pour oil into your hands like oil is such a, such a finicky substance i can't do anything with oil i don't even like touching oil like it's so weird and yeah i don't like i put it in my hand that's it like i don't like putting it on my face or anything even on my like not on the body at all Oil yeah. is just not the substance. And I had like so many questions. I, I was like, can you imagine wiping your ass with your hand, like no toilet paper, and there's oil on it, and like you have to wash that off? <laughs> it, it's so disgusting. He was like, no, but I didn't think that far. And I was like, but why would you think that we cleaned ourselves with oil? And then like I weirdly got offended, and I was like, I can't believe that all this time you thought so low of us and he was like no 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 I wasn't like I wasn't like judging anybody I was like I just thought that's how it worked and I was like but like it's so it's such a disgusting concept like in my brain and he was like oh, I didn't think it through and I was like you're a chef like you've worked in restaurants which also yeah. hysterical by the way right because you know who he is like nobody else is gonna yeah, get this oh my god <laughs> He's worked in a restaurant, he's worked I mean, with he's oil. Like, from the, he's, uh, I, just, I don't want to get so much away, but yeah. <laughs> like, I've never, I never thought, like, I would have expected this to come out, like, a different co-worker's mouth, like a white person's mouth. I did not expect not it. An <laughs> not an Asian person. Not an Asian person. But, like, I was like, you've worked with oil, you know how, like, disgusting a substance yeah, it is. Would, like, it would flow. Like, can you imagine, like, all that, like, fecal oil just, like, floating on top, like, of the toilet water? Like, it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and also like, I turn to my Muslim friend and I go can you imagine your mom like pouring like vegetable oil into like a lotta like can you visually picture that in your brain <laughs> oh, no. I was like dying laughing and then I was like why did you think it was a cleaning substance and he goes because I've seen like oil based makeup removers like my girlfriend or my ex-girlfriend oh, no. used to use like oil based or like coconut oil and I was like <laughs> it's not what <laughs> I was like fucking dying in the in the middle of a restaurant. I like get up. I have to go and get water from the counter. Say thank you, like a very aggressive thank you, and then come back. And I'm like, I just want to pick your brain about this because I don't understand. And I'm like dying, like fully dying, just laughing my head off. No. I don't understand like, what what his brain put like two and two together. <laughs> Well, I mean, calling it a lamp, I was like, oh, this is going to be a bad conversation. Because everybody I know calls it like a watering can. Everybody who's not Asian, I, I, they call it a watering can. He was like, no, it's a lamp. And I was like... <laughs> it's a lamp. It's a lamp. Like, now that... It's fancier than we are. Oh, I'm like... 
<laughs> and then he was like, yeah, I thought like if all the lights go out in your house, you could just light that and then that's the- It's plastic, first of all! Oh god. <laughs> it's just- Oh, oh yeah, my days. Yeah, just melt! And then I told Alicia this story because I also like low-key told you that I have like a crush on this person. Um, yeah, oh no. <laughs> I told Alicia this story, like this whole story in full graphic detail. And she's like not a Muslim, she's she's Indian, but she she's like cultured enough to know what it is. Yeah, she understands. It's just like shared culture, man. Yeah, and she like... <laughs> She was, she was constantly thinking like, he thought we did that! She doesn't use a watering can. But like, she was almost getting offended for me. And she was, she was like, why do you, why do you always fall for the dumb ones? Like, why do you always like the thick ones? Like... <laughs> it's true, mate. It's true. <laughs> He's not usually this dumb or uncultured. He usually understands us. I have a friend that's the same age as him. Even she would not make it. Yeah, she knows. You need to have this conversation with your non like Asian friends. Like I I just I wanna know, like for the people out there who are watching this video as well. Oh no! We have this conversation at work. Oh really? So the toilet when we were at work there's toilet paper shortage. And then one of my coworkers, she was like she's like yeah, worse comes to worse. I've got the hose pipe in the back garden. It does the same thing. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> now that's... Right? That's the poor man's bidet. Like... <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I... I feel like, like, people who are watching this now, like, do you... Is, what did you think that we did in the toilet? Yeah. Like, but obviously, like, I can't really blame some people for, like, not thinking about it because it's just not something you think about. But... At the same time, it's like, oh. really? <laughs> like you thought, you thought that. Oh, yeah, like, like how rich do you think we are? You just go through so much. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I was so ashamed. Oh, I was my like, logic was that yeah, my girlfriend has makeup remover, so um, oil-based ones. So I thought that's how it works. No makeup. And you must clean your ass with thing. that. That's like. <laughs> It's just not the same. It's just not the same. Can like, can you imagine like getting up, like having an oily ass? Like it's so, <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> it's so <laughs> gross. It's so gnarly. Like I can't. Oh. oh, it's just, I just, I don't know how we got there. Like what? No, like I was, I was picking his brain for a full like. I want to say like a whole hour like we were meant to leave gbk we were meant to leave this restaurant because we were being too loud and people were looking at us but like <laughs> he's sitting there and he's like trying to explain his logic and i'm sitting there and i'm like but why would you think that like you've used oil like you're a chef you've <laughs> yeah <laughs> why like i just I you can't. know oil's not supposed to go there you know oil and water <laughs> don't mix oil anyway <laughs> and like for girls I feel like if a guy did that it wouldn't be like it would still be awful but compared to a girl doing that like because we have way we more have shit to take care of oh my god, oh my god. the infections uh, that we would get I think I'm gonna think like that's gonna that's already hurting me this video it. is gonna be so demonetized like <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah I mean that's the story I wanted to share with you because I was like, I need to bring a brown person and talk about this um, because <laughs> this is so, like, I've never experienced shock like this in my whole life. It's the, it's the oil. It's the oil. Like, nothing else. And I was like, then I just got like, wait, how do you clean yourself? Like, if you think that this is how we clean. And he was like, yeah. he was like, I just wiped myself with toilet paper. And I was like, okay, so do you use oil on the toilet? Like, I'm confused. Yeah, I think, like, if he thought oil was a logical thing, has he ever used it to think it was, like... I just, like... I the only thing I think someone someone's like, oh, oil might work as if they actually used it. No one, no normal person would think it. I honestly, I couldn't stop thinking, like, imagine this person, like, you were with this person in a relationship, because I do have a crush on him. Um, okay. and imagine, like, he walks into the, our, like, shared bathroom and there's a jug in there and he's like, babe, where's the oil? Like, he would be divorced. <laughs> like, I, I can would- imagine if he, like, no, but if he kept thinking of oil and then looked thirsty water and got so confused. Yeah, like, why is there water in here? Like, doesn't that, like- Am I here to, like, <laughs> change it and put oil in it for you? That I'm just, oh my god, I Oh can't. my god. And then, as you go, you just, like, 
this is not water. <laughs> Like, what? Me? Why did you put oil in my in my watering can? And it's just sitting there like, um, <laughs> like the the image of someone pouring oil in that is just so funny. I can see it, and it's just so big. <laughs> like I couldn't in my brain, I could not stop picturing like my mom like bickering with me and pouring oil into a lotta like or a botna. <laughs> like I could not stop picturing it. It was just the funniest image. Like it, that image alone entertained me for like two days in isolation. It's so funny. <laughs> like, oh, and it's oh, so. I'm gonna be thinking about that. Uh, <laughs> like, I'll, I'll be sat in my room looking at like. Like you know that giant, room. you know that like giant like metal deg of like oil with the yeah. red lid. Like that's what I yeah. kept picturing. Yeah, they're really, really big ones because the normal ones come in plastic, but these are coming like the metal. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the funniest thing. But um, thank you for joining me on this call and being thank part of this video. Thank you for telling me that. I was <laughs> confused and thoroughly entertained. <laughs> um, I'll premiere this in a little bit after I edit it down a little because it's like a twenty-minute conversation. Um, unless there's nothing to edit, then it'd be fine. But um, yeah. yeah, is there anything you want to say to the YouTube people? You want to show your stuff? Um, follow me on Twitter. I'll just be tweeting quarantine stuff. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to add, to be honest. So I'm gonna have to actually do work now. Um, but mm. I am gonna dye my hair when the hair dye comes, and I've got like three options. Yeah, you gotta update us on that. I might throw that yeah. into one of my videos just so. Oh my god, yeah, it can be like. You're part of the channel now, you're part of the furniture. Um, yeah, I'll do like a big reveal <laughs> on your channel. Yeah, you can be the big reveal on my channel. Um, are you gonna start sending skeptics again? I think a lot of people are anticipating something. Honestly, at this moment, I, I don't think I'll be able to because I've got like all my assignments still due and I have to start working on my dissertation. But I'll try and get things sorted. Yeah, I mean, you guys should sense. subscribe anyway. I'll, I'll put their channel in the end card. Thank you. Um, but yeah, thank you. Um, the one thing I might actually, the one thing I will probably do, I don't think we'll be, I don't think I'll be able to make any new content this month, maybe end of April, but I'm going to try and get it onto Apple Podcast or Spotify Podcast, one of them. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a good idea. Um, but yeah, um, we'll talk about that at length later though. Uh, and I need to, yeah. I need to give you the full like lowdown on my company, like yeah. my employer. Of course. Um, I can't do it live because at the moment that the, the, my only source of income, if y'all let me kick off on YouTube and I become a full-time YouTuber, then I won't have to worry about it anymore. And you guys can get the rant that everyone deserves to see. But, um, yeah thank you for joining me Saf it was a wonderful it was a me. pleasure repeating that story um <laughs> and you know uh for those of you who are watching like share subscribe uh I've got my Patreon it's PayPal all my social yeah. media down below if you want me to do more of these like phone call conversations with a live audience um videos let me know because a lot of funny stories in here and there are loads of people that haven't heard them um so yeah i will see you in the next video and i hope that this made you feel any better in your isolation stay safe wash your fucking hands and <laughs> <laughs> don't call a watering can a lamp uh bye guys